Confucius once said, choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. Unfortunately for the most of us, if not all, is that we choose to do the exact opposite. Due to the buildup of your responsibilities, bills, loans, and so much more, we often compromise and just grab anything out there just to make ends meet. However, there's only so much we can do until we reach our limit. And I'm afraid I've reached mine. Nope. This isn't an answer to your prayers and the sign you've been waiting for regarding resignation. This is just me telling you there are better days ahead. Your life doesn't end here. I'm not the type of guy to hop around companies and not think about long term. Some people hate being a company worker. Some people actually think it's unfair. And some people tend to be picky when it comes to their work. Now, that's not the case for me. Although I'm really firm when I have to leave. So here are some of the few questions I ask myself before leaving a company or a job. Is there a personal problem that is currently or will make it hard to work for the company? Is my mental health compromised? Is my salary not enough to maintain myself in the long run? Is this the correct path I want for the next 5 to 10 years? Do I love what I'm doing? And usually if any of these start to get crossed out, then my self-awareness becomes stronger. Thus, here I am now, in the middle of my remaining days in the company. I've been in the company for almost three years now. I started here since the pandemic began. I found myself staying for a lot of reasons and probably one of those reasons is your reason too. <laughs> I had good working environment. I had good workmates. Work was relatively close to my house. So that's a plus one for me since I didn't have to worry about the travel and all that. You clock in, you clock out anytime, as long as you do your work. I also had bills to pay. Actually, salary was also good. I even got promoted. <laughs> but as time passed by, I started to see some signs and symptoms of me going back to my unhealthy habits. So I had to be more self-aware. A few months ago, I was given a new task, basically a new job direction a job direction that I didn't really want in the first place, but I really had no choice. So I tried to love the job. As much as I did try to love the job, it didn't work. Um, I slowly lost motivation to work. I slowly lost the energy. Uh, it just didn't sit right with me that I was being measured by something I'm not good at. I know my capacity, I know what I can do. That was kind of unfair for me. Once I realized that, I took a good look at my portfolio and the next thing I know, I was passing out applications to different companies and made one of the biggest decisions of my career. Basically, things just went down the drain. I had to push myself to muster up the courage to you know, send in a resignation letter. But here's the thing, <laughs> don't send in that resignation letter without having a backup plan. Thankfully, I found a company before I had to sign a resignation. You know, you have to weigh in the factors. Do you still have stuff to pay? Do you still have money reserved for emergency? You know, and stuff like that. And you have to consider that and you have to secure that before you pass in that resignation. Of course, there's a lot of things to go through once you send in that resignation letter. The turnover, the remaining work, processing of your requirements, the goodbyes, you and I are still young 
and I don't want to sabotage my dreams and career just because I feel indebted. I'm lucky enough to have a company that allows me to pursue that without burning any bridges. Even if you're old, you're never too late. Always choose yourself. Always choose to be better. If there is an opportunity for a greener pasture, grab that. Value yourself and make sure that you always take one step closer to that dream of yours. Be brave when you have to be. You'll never know unless you take that next step. I find myself entering a new world. Maybe an unfamiliar territory, but I'm more than ready for it.